What non s sort of thing turns you on? Getting my head scratched or having someone run their fingers through my hair. Girls letting their hair down putting it up. I have no idea why. A woman's genuine laugh. Not when she laughs because she's supposed to laugh. But when she laughs because she just can't help it. When girls stand on their tiptoes to reach something. When I'm cuddling with my boyfriend and he's just talking. I love it when I can feel the vibrations in his neck from his deep voice. There's this s that I rumble to it. Ugh he could be telling me a recipe for chicken pot pie and I'd be instantly soaked. Throwaway cause I honestly think I might have one of the weirdest ones here and I don't really want people I know to find out. It's not violent or even particularly fked up. In fact I suppose it is kind of a good thing. But it's still weird. I get like literally. S sorely turned on by helping people. Sometimes I get a full on rager as a result. Regardless of whether I am S sorely attracted to the actual person I am helping or not. It turns me on. I have no idea why, I don't have any s sort of fantasies about helping people than having sx with them or anything. In fact in the sack I'm pretty vanilla tbh. But I've always kind of wondered about it. It sounds so stupid but it's true. This is the best superhero origin story I have ever read. Girl with her hair up which exposes her neck. Turquoise. Sign and lapis lazuli. I get really horny when I see anything with those colors. Lapis lazuli and gold jewelry is pure orgasm. It's not just I like how it looks. It's literally s sorely exciting to look at. I have eyes practically carved from lapis lazuli. I'll be in your bunk. When a man chews the inside of his cheek and makes the side of his jaw move, I don't know how to explain it. But I've noticed my husband does it when we are arguing having a serious discussion. Pose bracket. Also when he puts his hand on the small of my waist. I guess that's s though. There's this girl at my school with hella deep dimples and sometimes I just wonder like can I put my dick in them. Guy is tenderly caring for animals. Every time my husband stops the car to carry a turtle across the road I want to jump him halfway across the street. Where do you live? That has all these turtles crossing the roads? A woman dressed in clothes of mine, like sweet pants and a shirt, that are way too big on her. Love it. Bare shoulders. Does that count as non -essual? You're the reason for my school's dress code. Glasses. A 39 megapixel image of a cheeseburger ooh yeah I'm hungry now. Catching a woman quietly singing to herself along with the radio when she doesn't know anyone is listening. And then stuffing her recently slashed body into the trunk of that car. A few weeks ago. I went to an aquarium and was turned on by the sensuality of the way jellyfish move. Tell me about it. Veganess of the sea. Am I right? Girls in winter clothing. The more bundled up. The better. Oh ladies. It. Girls doing anything. Also it. Guys doing things I don't do. A Maserati V8 as it reaches 7k RPM. I thought they said non s -zool. Men in a plain white tee. Yes that's s -zai. Does that apply to black guys? Cause for some reason I think I look like a dealer on the corner at that point. Maybe I've watched too much wire. When girls puts all the hair to one side. Knee socks. Nah dude thigh highs. When a girl blows hair out of her face but it just falls right back where it was and she looks semi frustrated amused at herself. Mornings. For whatever reason I'm rock hard when I wake up. It everyone talks about blatantly s sort of things that turn them on. Except the one kid getting turned on by jellyfish. That one's legit. Talking to me about your job. Especially if it's technical. IT joke coming in 3, 2, 1. Girls that constantly smell nice. That in just a tad bit bossy. It lets me know you know what you want. Forearms. When a woman cries. 
I don't f king get it. And they don't either. Accents. Some are dire. But like the posh London accent. Really does it for me. Same with soft Jedi and Southern Irish. Freckles. Seeing a cute guy nerd out on something. So my 1000 line Java code compiled with no errors. So happy. Large bodies of water. I can't explain it. A girl. My large body is 70% water. Women dressed professionally. Glasses. Conference room. Business suits. Black hose. The whole shebang. Guys forearms and guys driving. Especially driving stick. HNNNG. You're American aren't you? Facial scarring. Also hockey players. And bits. I'm strange okay. Classic Sherbatsky. Euro Truck Simulator 2. Girls who are intelligent. Glasses. So. Velma. Wet hair. Dank memes. I go bananas for chicks who paint. Picturing seeing a girl working a canvas with a brush makes my loins burn. Women in academia research. Especially if they explain their thesis research very passionately. Guys acting shy or meek. Fluency in multiple languages. Intelligence. But the quiet kind. The type of person is just extremely interesting and great to talk to. But isn't over the top about it. I'm all about the small build. Nerdy boys. The best. Men who convert oxygen to CO2. Coffee really turns me on in multiple ways. A woman brushing her hair in a quiet room. Gives me a full on murder boner every time. Women contemplating dog knees. The rain. My girlfriend. Colon. Paging UFs with ducks. Wait. Rubber ducks aren't Ezul? Girls wearing baggy sweaters crying over a bowl of ice cream. Girls with tattoos and colored hair. I'm a sucker for a girl with a sleeve and punk hair. A girl that can make me laugh and is as comfortable making a poignant yet amusing observation as she is making an abortion joke. Totally just destroyed that fetus lololol. When a man touches the small of my back as he walks with me or holds the door for me. Gives me goosebumps. I like hair being brushed. Mine by a woman or a woman by another woman or a woman by herself. So I guess as long as a woman is involved and hair is being brushed. I am happy. Did it. Added a comma. When boys take the time to explain something to you. Especially something they're passionate about. They're such goofballs or super crass most of the time. But I love those moments where they just talk like normal people and sound smart. It's Essel. UK girls accents. Scottish accents over here. When women eat bananas. Particularly if they spit on it and tease the head for some reason. I think you've been watching too much PRN mate. Wear a jersey of a team I hate. A girl wearing Kansas City Chiefs. New England Patriots. Boston Red Sox. Detroit Red Wings. Or Minnesota Wild Beer? Holy shti. Yes. Being poked in the belly button. For some reason. That gets me going like crazy. You'll want to be careful doing that. I was told as a young child that's how babies are made. Never poke a belly button unprotected. When she wears my clothes. Cleaning my ears. Bits. Dear lord. I love a glorious beard. Eyes. Especially when they are glossy. Short hair on girls. Vocabulary that's outside the vernacular. Red hair. Not ginger but dyed red. Gets me every time. No 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 you got it backwards mate. It's ginger red hair not fake red hair. Or it is for me. For me real red hair is just like. Amazing. 
while fake red hair is a warning that it's possibly a scene girl or worse. When his swimming trunks are slung a little low and that super white skin is peeking out. 